Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be going over on how to set up your 3D printer for the collapsing katana print in place by 3D Printing World. Now if you go to thingiverse.com and you download all files, you'll notice that 3D Printing World included a test print file. This file is meant for just that, to test your print before you spend 18 or 19 hours printing your sword. So what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to print out three of these in that one test print and they are all supposed to separate. Now, my first print didn't go like that because as you can tell, the bottom got stuck together. I believe they call this elephant's foot. My second print, after doing some adjusting, only had one piece that was loose. But you can tell with my third piece, it definitely worked. So this is what I did. On the 3D printing bed, I put the temperature to 48 degrees Celsius, and I also added a fan to help with cooling the plastic. I'm using the Ender 3, and I'm using Overture White PLA. I'm using Cura as my slicing software. Now we'll go over some of the details that I have here for you. So my quality is 0.2 millimeters. So the shell's already there. Infill's at 15%. You can tell my bed temperature is at 48, printing temperature 200. I have the speed at set 55. Uh, Z-hop when retracted. Cooling at 100%. No supports are needed. The build plate adhesion is a skirt, as you can see. Uh, so the most important thing, honestly, for this print was setting up the printing bed height. I got the extruder nozzle to just touch the printing bed. Um, if you move, if you do the paper trick that they teach you, um, you want the paper to just slightly get stuck for this print. And that's what's helped me create this. And that's how I got this working. Um, I also added a fan, like I said, to help with cooling the plastic, which definitely helped. And one of the most important things is that the printing bed is set at 48 degrees Celsius, or at least not 60 or, or 50. 50 was still too hot for me. So I believe that'll help. I hope you guys all enjoy. Again, thank you 3D Printing World for giving the file.